Well, hello and welcome to this tutorial uh, for our brand new year fours that are going to be our year fives in September. Welcome. Uh, as you know, it's all been really, really odd and strange times. Uh, however, we have got a really good system that we've been using and we're hopefully going to use it in order to get in touch with you, to do some work around meeting your new teachers, meeting the rest of your classes. It's all very exciting times and hopefully it's going to make your transition to coming to Gosford Central Middle School in September really smooth. So I'm not going to blab on for too long. My name's Mr. Leonard. Uh, can I just say that if you have any technical issues, please don't hesitate to get in contact with me uh, via email on admin at goscentral.co.uk and I'll repeat that at the end of this video tutorial. So you should have received an email with various bits and pieces of information like your form group and so on and also your login details for our Google Classroom platform. And the main point of this tutorial today is to show you how to get logged in in case you've never done it and also how to send us some messages, upload stuff and some very basic bits and pieces about using Google Classrooms, how to send us messages and so on. So without any further ado, I have open here a web browser. If you can, Google Chrome is about the best, but any web browser will work. So don't panic if you don't have Google Chrome. It should still work. Now, if you are in Google, the first thing you should do is have a little check up here. Now, I currently am not signed in as any user at all. However, if you have a Gmail account or if somebody in your family has a Gmail account, you will see a little icon here. It might be some initials. They might have uploaded a photograph. And the first thing you will need to do is click on that little icon and somewhere around here, there will be a sign out button and you just need to click sign out. Now, I don't need to do that. I've deliberately cleared everybody out so that you can see how this works. Now, there are a number of ways that you can get to Google Classrooms, but probably about the best one for you is in the bar at the top here or in the search bar here, type in Google Classrooms. And you can see there's a search hit there already. And this will come up. And the next thing you do is click on that hit Google Classrooms and you will get this window here. OK, now your next job is to click go to classrooms, which I've already done in this tab here and you'll be prompted to use your Google sign in. Now, the first bit you type in is your Google email, which you should have received. Now, I'm going to use an account that I've created. It's fictitious so you can see what this looks like. And it is Ali dot gator get my humor at goss central dot co dot uk all of our emails have this bit at the end goss central dot co dot uk as i said to you before i'm admin at goss central dot co dot uk your teachers will be first name dot second name at goss central dot co dot uk you are first name second name etc so i just click next and it will then prompt me to put my password in and you will have been given your password when you signed in mine is crocodile 10 and then i click next and then the first thing you will be faced with is a welcome to your new account it's the usual i agree etc so you just click accept and then it should ask you to create a new password. Now, if it doesn't at this stage, don't panic. At a later point in time, I will show you via a little uh, tutorial how to change your password if it does not ask you to. OK, so it will ask you for something strong. Usually it needs to be at least eight characters long and it likes what's called a special character. It's like an exclamation mark or something like that. So. I shall just put in a email password and confirm it and we should be in here we go now the next page will ask me to check who I am I will click continue 
it will ask if I'm a student or a teacher to which of course I click I am a student now when you go in you will see only one classroom okay and it's your plastral classroom where you will have contact with your teacher and so on and so on so the very important thing that I need to do next is I need to click join if you click decline it's a not the end of the world but you are going to need to email us so that we can reinvite you so I click join and it'll have a little bit of a think and it will take me in to my pastoral well-being classroom okay now I'm just going to give you a little bit of a navigation around and about what is here let's just click that message there now there are various sections the stream is where you can have a conversation with your teacher you can type into here a little message and you can say hello da -de -da -de -da -de -da, whatever click cancel don't want to do that and your teacher will very often put a message here up at the top here you may well see a code for a video message but we'll talk about that in a little bit if I click on classwork this is where any little assignments or little bits of classwork or a little bit of tasks that your teacher might put okay now the three little lines in the corner here this is the way to get to and from all of the bits and pieces we've just seen so i click on it and i guess you could call it a bit like the home button and i click on classes and it takes me back to the front here click on here and i am back in again now let's just say you wanted to send something to me if this was my class uh, there's nothing in here but you could potentially go to the stream and as I said to you before you could send me a message however if classwork has been set up which there isn't for any of this at the moment it will all be here to view and it is fairly straightforward to have a little look at now I'll be following this tutorial with another one very very soon I'll post the link into your stream so that you'll be able to see it and it will teach you how you can put anything that you wish into here now before I go just want you to have a little look at what I call the waffle over here and the waffle contains a number of apps and the one that is really important for you guys is your Gmail app and if you click on that you will see when I open it up there's probably not a lot of email for me but there should be one thing in there tips for using your new oops a daisy let's get rid of that get rid of that an invitation from me to that class okay now if when you are in here and you do not see that particular class when you go in the one thing I would like you to do before you go any further is I would like you to have a little look in your Gmail and have a little look for that invitation in there here it comes and when I open that up it will give me a little message that will say join so if your class hasn't appeared check in your Gmail see what's going on and if it hasn't got that class for you click join again if there is any issues whatsoever then please 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 email me on admin at goscentral.co.uk now if perchance you are using a Chromebook this little process of switching accounts is a little bit difficult and you may need to get in touch with me directly but do give it a try remember if somebody else is already signed in you will need to sign out you will need to close and as you can see when I've clicked on the top of the two the sign out button is there I click on that and you can see that goes blank and if I then go through the whole process again you will see that it will ask me to sign in exactly the same as we've done before if you don't sign out here it will keep you signed in but if you've got lots of people in your house that are using the computer you may need to repeat the process but don't worry you will get the hang of it as I said before any issues 
please get in touch. We're really looking forward to seeing you and we will talk about how we do a hangout in our next video conversation. Take care now, guys. Bye.